Here in the Western Pacific. The holiday like here in Wildwood. It's not only the last weekend for their fun of the sun, it's also the end of a magnificent business and season for the shore businesses. News 3's Robin McIntosh, who used to work out at the Jersey Shore in his younger days, is live in Ocean City with more on that tonight. Robin? Well, that's right, Larry, and for more than 20 years, I've covered Labor Day weekends here at the Jersey Shore. As you know, Labor Day weekend is a time for looking back over the summer season. Some years, the merchants say they did very well. Some years, they said they do poorly. But this year is the first time in a long time they've all said they had a great summer. It's Labor Day weekend at the Jersey Shore, and the beaches are packed again. The boardwalk is busy again, and the sun is shining again. As the summer of 97 goes down in the record books as one of the great ones. It's been a great one. Uh, July and August have been wonderful. The weather's been wonderful, and uh, people have been coming in. We, we couldn't have had uh, better weather. If Memorial Day weekend is a time for first of the summer season, Labor Day weekend is for its last. Up on the boardwalk, the last high ride. On the beach, the last low tide. Robin, the summer 97. Probably was one of the best we've ever had in terms of weather, in terms of ocean conditions, in terms of uh, beaches being congested. The Ocean City Beach Patrol has lost a lot of lifeguards to colleges that start before Labor Day, but those that are left are hoping for another safe weekend. That means a lot of fun in the sun, usually, So, uh, but to us here in the guard stands, it means a safe holiday for everyone else. Playland may be just that for tourists, but for owner Scott Simpson, it's serious business. And this summer, business has been a grand slam. We didn't have any problems with any weekend with weather. It was just it was an outstanding summer. The summer of 97 has been a winner not only for boardwalk businesses, but for bayside boat cruises. But there are boats, and then there are boats. The Cyclone is 70 feet of fast fun for its 140 passengers, but for its owners, it's been a gamble in its first season on the water. But this summer, that gamble has paid off. It was just outstanding. No rain. We had a little bit of rain in August here, and that was it. And at night, it rained. And in the day, the sun was out, and it was just fantastic. And back live. You keep hearing that again and again. It was just fantastic. But, you know, the Labor Day weekend isn't the end of the summer season here in Ocean City anyway. There are a lot of efforts to extend the season into fall with concerts and art shows. So this weekend, a lot of people will be leaving the shore. But in the coming weeks, a lot of them will be back. That's a story live from the Ocean City Boardwalk. We'll go back to you. Robin with friends. Thank you. Also down the shore. Wildwood is offering an unbeatable... Hey, tell us all about the holiday happenings, Lisa. Well, Lisa, I can't believe summer is over. For many, spending the summer holidays down at the shore is an annual tradition. They wouldn't want to spend Labor Day weekend anywhere else. If you want to have fun this Labor Day weekend, the Bradley family says you can bet on the shore to win. It's fun. The kids love the rides. The parents love just the atmosphere. It's a fun atmosphere. It's a summer atmosphere. It wouldn't be summer without the shore. Beachgoers found their slice of heaven on the sands of Cape May and on the boardwalk at Wildwood. When it comes to the holiday weekend, even the little ones want a break from the city. Getting rid of everything back in Pennsylvania. And coming down to the Jersey Shore to do what? To swim at the beach. What made this summer so great? Because we spent it in Cape May. And it's really fun because this beach is a lot nicer than any other beach I ever went to. Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, and everything in between rates an A-plus with Jersey Shore tourists. One word is not enough to describe the season. Excellent, fabulous, wonderful, excellent. <laughs> Texas is extremely hot, and this is heaven to me. Jersey Shore always is heaven. We're getting ready for school, right? No. <laughs> school and work are still far away thoughts, but the end is near. And for many, parting will be a sweet sorrow. The weather every weekend was beautiful. Uh, no rain. Pretty much no rain. Are you sad to see it go? Always. Always. Yes. I get depressed when September comes. So, we're sad. It gets lonely. <laughs> It can get kind of lonely here once summer is over, but hey, that happens later. For now, it's Friday, and we still have the whole Labor Day weekend ahead of us. Reporting live on the Action Cam, I'm Lisa Quintana in Margate. Thanks, Lisa. And still ahead on Action News, all eyes are on the skies this weekend, Dave. Well, a few clouds are hanging on, but things should clear out very nicely. You are going to like the AccuWeather forecast for the Labor Day weekend. Now, what's the Who? 875 miles east-northeast of Hilo, Hawaii. The winds of 30 miles per hour and it is moving to the west at 9. What happened to Jimena, which was once a Category 3 hurricane? 
Well, it ran into some cooler water. It also encountered some wind shear, and therefore it's not looking nearly as impressive on the satellite picture. And you can see how the cloud tops are kind of getting blown off to the north and east. Not going to be a major effect to anybody out there into the Pacific Ocean. Back to Kim now for what's coming up next.